Thank God for all things. Amen. That's a wonderful, wonderful song of encouragement. Weeping may endure for a night. But there's something about the joy of the Lord. Amen. It is your strength. Yes, sir. Amen. Glory to God for all things. This morning we're going to be coming from St. John the 8th chapter. And if the Lord would give us a grace. We're going to be going from verse 1 through 24. 1 through 24. And many of the prayer requests and testimonies I heard just had me reflect, reflecting on an old hymn, Father Along. And it says, Father Along will know all about us. Father along, will understand why. Cheer up, my brother. Live in the sunshine. Well, understand better by and by. God brought me. God dealt with me on something I believe uh, will be a blessing this morning. It was a blessing to me. And it was a simple question that he asked me, and it was, what's in the sand? What's in the sand? And we see here, before we begin uh, verse 1 here, that the previous chapter dealt with something very profound. There was a dissimulation amongst the Jews whether or not Jesus was truly the Christ. Even though he had done many wonderful things, he had healed people of uh, diseases and casted out devils, yet and still there was some disparagement. And it got to a point where an old familiar person had to witness for Jesus. Nicodemus himself. Had to come and say how we should not judge anyone based on their appearance. Right? Amen. But look upon the works of the individual. And Jesus through that time, he said, judge not according to appearance. But judge righteous judgment. And you can judge a righteous judgment based on the word of God. Amen. So if someone says you can't judge me, that's not true. Not true. Right. Amen. I'm going to try to behave myself this morning. All right. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. What's in the saint? So throughout this time, as we all know, that many times through our Jesus' early ministry, they tried to kill him. Yes. There was a time they tried to strangle him with their hands. And there was a time when they were going to throw him off a cliff. Uh -huh. But because his time was not yet, yeah. he slipped away. Amen. And I heard some things this morning, and it seems like there seems to be a trend, but Jesus can break generational curses. Yes. Amen. 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 Let's, look, let's look at verse 1. Jesus went unto the Mount of Olives. And early in the morning he came again into the temple, the temple that they cast him out of. And all the people came unto him, and he sat down, and he taught them. And the scribes and the Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery when they had set her in the midst. And that's man for you. That's the judgment of man. Amen. They don't judge to try to uplift you. They judge to try to destroy you. They said unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery. In the very act. So it wasn't that she just looked upon a man and lusted after him. Uh, she was in the very act. Yeah. And I'm going to try to keep my composure, but we need to understand this. Now, when people usually commit adultery, they sneak around. Right? So they don't get caught. Now, if these religious leaders were there, when she was committing in the act of adultery, that means they were laying in wait. 
Instead of trying to help the system, huh? Out of a life of destruction, they'd rather use her weakness to justify their accusations and their positions in the people's eyes. And it's a wicked thing for us to use other people's weaknesses Amen. to make ourselves look more holy than they are. Amen. 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 Because of those that always say that they're watching people. Uh -huh. You beware of it. And I'll say it just like this. Just this past week, I was on the engineering floor and we were doing our business. And one of the engineers asked his sister, were you by chance the one who assembled this because something was wrong? And she said, no, there's nothing I did wrong. He's like, and he kind of joked at her. He said, like, yeah, I know you must have did it, you know, because, you know, it wasn't done right. And she turned to someone else and said, see, that is why I have my voodoo dolls. <laughs> See 